fellow Vikings, welcome back. This time, I'm going to talk to you about my favorite garden snack. So I don't know if you guys can see what's behind me or not right now. And it's okra. And okra is one of my favorite snacks to just come into the garden and just pluck. Um, we work outside a lot, especially on the hot days, and you don't always get to eat a big snack or a big lunch or anything like that. So for me, it's really easy to just come over to where the okra is and just steal a couple pieces and I'm good. Um, our okra is planted in three different spots so that we could figure out what spot would be the best for it. Um, all of our okra is planted in really good soil. Well, it's not even soil. It's like compost and um, hay. And it's got a little bit of our clay on top of it because a lot of our property is clay. Um, and it's doing great, actually. Um, and like I said, it's planted in three different spots. And a lot of our okra is pretty tall. I don't know if you can see that. Not. Uh, I'll get a better little clip of it in a second. Um, a lot of our okra we're leaving or letting go to seeds. So they're the bigger ones, a lot bigger ones. Um, you can still use the big ones. They're better used as like a thickener for soups and stuff like that. Or you can sort of, I would suggest putting them in salads if you guys like that. Um, I do. I think it's delicious. The smaller ones are better for just eating fresh or pickling even. And I love pickled okra. I really do. So I'm excited to be able to make that. But I don't know if all of our okra is going to last or not because me and the girls really like okra. So let me show you a little clip of how our okra is doing. All right, so there is one thing that I forgot to tell you. Um, the big ones like this, ah, the big ones like this are better used for like soups and stuff because once they get this big, they do get a little bit slimy on the inside, but they're still really good to eat. Um, so I would use them for like um, soups, like garden soups if you want. Um, or I mean, I'm pretty sure you could fry them, but it'll have a different texture. It'll be like a little slimier, like I said. But yeah, so now that I showed you guys my favorite garden snack, I am hungry. So I'm going to eat this and I'm going to let you guys go. See you guys later. Bye.